Okay, so let's have this topic. So solving rational equations. So we have this given rational equation. So first, we need to check the denominators if we can do factoring. Since we have this quadratic equation, that's x squared minus 3x minus 10. Since we can apply factoring for this equation using this quadratic factoring, so first, we need to write this x to both sides of the factors. We have x times x. Then for this negative 10, we need to list all the factors of this negative 10. So since 10 is negative, so therefore one of the factor is positive and one is negative. Then from the given quadratic equation, since the middle term, is negative so therefore the bigger number of the factors must be negative so these are now the factors of negative 10 so we have negative 10 times positive 1 so the bigger number must be negative then we also have this negative 5 times 2 so these are the factors of negative 10 then add these factors, so this negative 10 plus 1, that's negative 9, and negative 5 plus 2, that's negative 3. So since the middle term is negative 3, and this one is negative 3, so therefore, these are the factors of negative 10. We have negative 5 and positive 2. So we need to change this equation by its factors. So this is now the new equation. We have 3 over x plus 2, then plus x over x minus 5, then equals 7x over the factors of this quadratic equation, x minus 5 times x plus 2. Then to simplify this rational equation, we need to multiply this whole equation by its LCD. So to find the LCD, we just need to combine the given denominators. So for the first denominator, we have x plus 2. Then for the second denominator, that's x minus 5. Then for the third denominator, we have this x minus 5. Since we already have this x minus 5, so there is no need to add this x minus 5. And this x plus 2, since we already have this x plus 2, so there is no need to add this x plus 2. So therefore, this one is the LCD of this rational equation. Then we need to multiply this LCD to every term. So we have now this x plus 2 times x minus 5 times this term 3 over x plus 2. Then plus to this term, so we have x plus 2 times x minus 5 times x over x minus 5 then equals to this term so we have this x plus 2 times x minus 5 then times 7x over x minus 5 times x plus 2 then we need to simplify, so since we can cancel this x plus 2 and x plus 2, so we have now the remaining x minus 5 times 3. Then plus, so on this term, we can cancel this x minus 5 and x minus 5, so the remaining we have x plus 2 times x then equals for this term. So since we can cancel this x plus 2 
x plus 2, x minus 5, and x minus 5. So therefore, the remaining, that's 7x. Then simplify, so uh, distribute. So x times 3, this one is 3x. Then this negative 5 times 3, that's negative 15. Then plus x times x, this one is x squared. And 2 times x, that's positive 2x, then equals 7x. Then arrange this equation, start with the highest exponent, and combine like terms. So start with x squared. Then this uh, 3x plus 2x, that's positive 5x. Then minus 15, then transpose this 7x, so this becomes negative 7x, then equals 0. Then simplify, so we can combine this uh, positive 5x and negative 7x. So we have now x squared. Then this positive 5x and negative 7x. So 5 minus 7, this one is negative 2x. Then minus 15 equals 0. So since we have this uh, quadratic equation, so we have this uh, x squared minus 2x minus 15. So minus 2x minus 15 equals 0. So we can apply quadratic factoring. So again, uh, we need to write this x first to both sides of the factors. Then list all the factors of this negative 15. So we have negative 15. So since negative, so therefore one of the factors is positive and one is negative. But since the middle term is negative, so therefore the bigger number must be negative. So these are now the factors of negative 15. So we can have negative 15 times positive 1. So the bigger number is negative and also negative 5 times positive 3. Then add the factors, so negative 15 plus 1, this one is negative 14. Then this negative 5 plus 3, that's negative 2. Then since the middle term of this quadratic equation is negative 2, so therefore, these are the factors of negative 15, negative 5 and positive 3. So we have negative 5 and positive 3 then equals 0. Then equate both factors to 0. So we have x minus 5 equals 0. And the other one, x plus 3 equals 0. Then solve for x. So we have x equals, so transpose this uh, negative 5, that becomes positive 5. Then the other one, x equals, transpose this uh, positive 3, that becomes negative 3. But first, we need to check the solution since the factors is positive 5 and negative 3. So take note that if x equals negative 5, this equation becomes 0 because 5 Minus 5, that's 0, and 0 denominator, that's undefined. So therefore, this 5 is not part of the solution of this rational equation. So therefore, x equals negative 3 is the only solution of this rational equation.